let's make some dressing. We'll make a vegan vegetable dressing that will be appropriate for Thanksgiving or any holiday where you serve uh, dressing or stuffing. Veganism is a growing movement and chances are you know someone or more than one person who is a vegan and chances are they may end up at your dinner table at some point. So it's nice to have some dishes you can serve or at least uh, know how to create dishes that will make them feel welcome. Let's define what a vegan is. Vegans do not eat any animal products. No meat, no fish, poultry, pork, nothing that has a face. <laughs> Vegans also don't eat any animal byproducts, so no dairy, no eggs, uh, no milk, no yogurt, even no honey, because honey is a byproduct of bees. For dressing, you start with a good base. Stovetop is not a good base. <laughs> because as far as I can see, every single one of the stovetop dressing uh, uh, packages or flavors has animal products in there, either um, chicken stock or some sort of stock, and uh, it's not appropriate to, um, to use those. What is appropriate to use are um, things like this, this oral wheat um, herb seasoning, herb seasoned. Uh, this is another one, sort of an herb seasoned and there's a good one from Pepperidge Farms, also herb seasoned. They generally do not have any animal products in them. They're, they're bred with, um, with seasoning, but do not take my word for it. If you are looking for any sort of packaged seasoning, be sure to read the side of the box, the, or the package, the ingredient list, because even though I tell you today, these are good, uh, good products, you never know what's gonna happen. So. Before you buy anything or start preparing anything, read the ingredients uh, very closely. Dressing recipes always call for some sort of stock, and it's usually chicken stock. This can be easily substituted with vegetable stock. Dressings also usually call for, for butter. Again, easily substituted with margarine. Many people like to add uh, sausage to their dressings in this particular case. It's not going to work unless you can find vegan sausage, which is readily available nowadays in uh, most grocery stores. In that case, go for it. <laughs> this video is part of a weekly collaboration named Quick and Easy Meals, hosted by Anna of the Grace Life DIY Home Decor. Sometimes there are also guest hosts. And uh, since I do these videos pretty much ahead of time, I'm not always aware of who they are when I do the video, but they will be listed in the um, description box below. Please visit everyone's channels and give them some love. So let's get started. I think you'll be amazed at how easy this is. Well, it's Thanksgiving morning and I'm about to head out in a little bit to um, Thanksgiving celebration. So I'm bringing a couple things, but one of the things I'm doing is bringing a vegetarian version of uh, stuffing. So, uh, I don't need to bring a lot, so I'm going to be using this as my base, but only using half of it. In addition to this, I'm going to be sauteing up some uh, red pepper, some uh, onion, and some celery. So my first order of business is going to find out how much is a half of this. <laughs> it says 12 ounces, but I don't know how much that is in terms of cups here. So let's go figure that out first. I purchased this stuffing at Walmart. I purchased a couple of stuffings at Walmart because I'm going to a couple of events, but um, they really are coming through with their uh, their rollback prices. I saw so many prices that were so good. I think this was $2.16. So, you know, that's kind of a good thing, helping people out at the holidays like that. But let's see how many uh, how many cups are actually in here so I can make an educated um, decision about Okay, there's eight cups. There's eight cups. A little bit more. It might be just eight cups. Yeah. All right. One of these 12 ounce uh, packages, 12 ounces, is eight cups measured out. So that said, I'm going to need four of these cups. I love having these big um, Pyrex. Uh, measuring cups here in all the different sizes. I've haunted a lot of garage sales to get this collection going. This one's a four-cupper. All right, there we are. Here's my half. 
I have a uh, Dutch oven there warming up on the uh, on the stovetop, and I'm going to go ahead and start cutting up my vegetables uh, because I have to saute them for a few minutes. So I I don't know. I think I'm going to use all of this onion because it's a pretty small onion, maybe, maybe two thirds of it. Gonna cut this up into little pieces and then throw it in the pan. I also have uh, two ribs of celery here, so I'm just gonna slice these down the middle and then chop them up, throw them in with the onions. I was gonna throw the onions in right now, but the pan and the oil isn't hot enough, so I'll do them all together. <laughs> and finally, a little bit of red pepper for color about a half a pepper. I like to make these also with mushrooms, just a heavy mushroom base. In a day or two, I'm going to another uh, day after Thanksgiving event and uh, I'll be making the same sort of stuffing but with pecans and cranberries for something a little sweeter. Here are the peppers and I'm gonna add it to the uh, celery and the onions and throw it in the pan. I think the oil is hot enough now. And here it is cooking away. I'm going to have to go back and look at the directions now. I think I add broth in a few minutes. The vegetables are getting close to being done, so I'm going to add two tablespoons of uh, margarine and a cup of vegetable bouillon. Margarine and bouillon is in there, and the directions say to just bring everything to a boil. Well, it's definitely boiling and time to go to the next step. I've preheated the oven to 350 because I'm going to bake this. And in the meanwhile, I'm going to put my four cups, my half a bag of uh, stuffing in here. And then I'm going to pour that uh, the vegetables of the broth on top. And here we go. Let me get a spoon to get the rest of those vegetables out. Sorry for all that smoke. <laughs> The directions say to fluff it up, and then I'm going to bake it. You probably could serve it like this, but um, I do like that crust on top. So I'm just gonna get this all moistened. Make sure there's enough moisture. If not, you can always add a little bit. Now that all the steaming has calmed down, um, everything is pretty well moistened. I'm going to be baking them in these Dollar Tree foil uh, containers. I normally would not do that, but since I'm going a couple hours away, this is just the easiest. Then nobody has to do any dishes, and I don't have to drag any dishes back. So I have, I think I'm going to need two of these. So I have two of them, and I'm going to go ahead and spray some um, cooking spray in the, in there so it won't stick. Oven, as I said, is... Uh, Preheated to 350. There we go. And let's see. I think what you're supposed to do is put this in and then um, and then cover it with foil. So I think I'm gonna need two, but maybe one. Yeah, look at that. I think one will be sufficient. It'll be kind of a, a packed one, but that's nice. There we go. one small foil casserole dish just perfectly. This is getting covered with foil. They say for about uh, 20 minutes and then uh, 10 minutes uncovered. So I'm going to put it in and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. And here it is all nicely browned and ready to go. I'm going to let it cool down a few seconds and then uh, wrap it up with foil and take it down to uh, Thanksgiving celebration. Hoping you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving and a great weekend, and thank you so much for watching.